What is going on, you lots? Midi here. As you can see, level 20. I've been grinding the game out, trying to get as much knowledge as I can. And a family member I want to be talking about today is Johnny. Old Johnny boy. He comes with a very unique ability. He basically turns into Inspector Gadget. You activate his ability, and if there's any victims that have left footprints, you're actually able to scan these. You're going to see these footprints lead into where the victim is. Maybe they're hiding. You can catch a lot of victims out with this. People that are camping in bushes, people that have kind of gone inside a building, you know, you've lost track of them, hid inside a cupboard or something else, and you just end up finding them. The only downfall to this perk is that if someone actually goes through like a slit in a wall, there's a gap somewhere, you're going to have to go around that, see where they last were, and then keep on the track of where they were. So if you've got sissy or you've got a hitchhiker on your team they're going to be able to actually help you out there and cut them off a lot easier so there's three perks that i'm currently using on him that i think are really good especially in solo queue the first one is feral this is going to increase your savagery meaning that you don't have to put as many points into savagery and you're able to put them into endurance so you're not wasting that stamina as much second perk is going to be serrated this is going to give you bleed damage which i think is really good there's been multiple times where i've hit someone they've basically gone through a gap and then they fell to the floor and i may be able to catch up with them you know and end them as you guys know these perks will level up in a game when you have them selected and you're actually going in there so they can go up to a maximum level of three and one of my favorite perks to be using in solo queue is going to be tracker tagged so hitting a victim highlights them for family members if you're not using comms and you're playing with random people hitting a survivor is going to highlight for everyone just keeps everyone you know on the same page a little bit you're playing in a full sweaty squad and you're all talking you don't need to use the perk for the tree just to show you guys how i unlocked all these i went left straight up then you're going to get feral and then you're going to get serrated as well and then obviously look you're going to go up to the top here and you can get whatever else you think fits but i like getting swinging for the fences as well so this is actually a granddad perk and you can put this on reduces the stamina consumption of melee attacks by 20 percent. i think this is huge some of these are really good that's the build we're going to jump into a game with him we're going to see how far we actually get always leave a like on the video let's go that's what i get right, for taking boys. it easy on them let's do it Oh, Johnny boy. First thing you want to do, kick these in. Believe me, the crawl spaces, when you start blocking them, you're going to net yourself some kills. Now, with these perks, Johnny is not going to be able to harvest blood as well as maybe Hitchhiker or Sissy. But, you know, everyone's got to do their part. Everyone's got to contribute to Grandad. Every 100 blood, he goes up one level. That's it. And we turn on the battery, guys. And I'm just going to put this out there for a lot of you guys that are new. My Grandad's woke up. If you spawn near the battery, turn the battery on, okay? That's it. If you don't turn that battery on, all they've got to do is pick one lock and they, they can pretty much leave. Two, two pick locks and they're out. They'll always turn it on. Now they've woken up Grandad. This is going to happen if they're making too much noise or if they open the basement door pretty quick. Or if you get Grandad to level one, that also wakes him up. So depending on the play style, you know, you could max out Grandad straight away. I do feel like there should be at least one family member that has really good, you know, like blood harvesting. Oh, okay. They're all still down here in the basement. I'm going to go down there early. You're going to come up against two types of teams. Teams that are going to rush you so badly and some that just take them time down here. I mean, if that's the case, get hunting, boy. Choose the ability. Right. Oh, there we go. And with this build, you're going to be doing naughty damage. Can you get back here. All right. Oh, you left face. You got to go around it, boy. Get her. Oh, mate. You got to cut her off, bro. Right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's how you do it, man. Oh, hey, mate. <laughs> if I pulled him out. Here you go, boy. Oh, that's it. Dead. Now, I feel like that was actually quite lucky. I was actually just going to go scan the footprints, but I don't know. That the footsteps are right outside the hiding area. Let's see if we can track the last one here. And follow them footsteps. There's no way he's in here. <laughs> Two for one, boys. Two for one with old Johnny boy. He better run, sonny. Oh, mate. These guys underestimated him. If you're going against proper campers and they ain't leaving basement. Yeah, sonny. You're going to get that bleed damage as well. Mate. Oh. You ain't getting away, boy. Dead. 
Hey, that was a quick game. Like, he does become really efficient to, I'm going to say, newer players, for sure. Newer players against Johnny are going to get absolutely taken out. Let's get into game two. Let's do it. Okay, this map is kind of crazy, I won't lie. I only noticed recently that they can actually just open all these doors and leave. I always thought the generator had something to do with both of the doors, but no. New Bearer. Or well, I guess if they've got Connie, they can just get two pick locks. Boom. You're out that way. Depends if they've got the pick locks. The generator always starts on, so we're good. Just trying to do as much as I can before Grandpa actually wakes up here. Gonna feed him quick. Mmm, fresh. Eat it, you bold. You bold. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're gonna see where I am through the cutscene, man. And that cancelled it. What? Cancelled the animation. Oh, it could be down here, actually. I mean, I do really enjoy playing Johnny. The only... Oh. Ooh, say no more. Say no more. See, now, if you land in three hits like that, already she's going to have minimal HP. But that is Anna. She could just activate her ability and take, like, a lot of reduced damage. See if we can track her down, actually. There we go. Got to sort of run in the area near where they were. Keeps you on track a little bit. Because a lot of people, they will just run inside a bush. You look. Okay, so you see how she's got in there? And I actually have to make myself go all the way around. Okay. Sissy's on her, I think. Okay. Try and cut her off if we can. And the ability does last quite a while. So, it is kind of good. Oh, wait. Oh, mate, as if he's doing this. You grab her alone! You, you are hitting him! Don't you worry Where you going, Leland? That. Where the fuck are you going? I can't. Oh, you... Oh. Mate. Mate, what kind of play was that? Come on. Get out. Get out. You fool, man. What the... What? He ain't going for the well. Oh, is he? No, he is. Oh. Sometimes you can land a couple hits when they go into the sort, of sort of well animation. Sometimes you can only land one. Never figured it out, right? The face is breaking out nice. So you've got to watch it sometimes when you're playing the family members. Like, depending on how long you've been on a chase for, always check to see if any of the padlocks have been broke. Whenever you feel like you're chasing someone for too long, just be prepared to sort of, you know, check the objectives, making sure people, will, other people aren't actually leaving. She's actually gone in there. Just get this for a sec. See if we can find her. She might have went in a hiding spot, mate. So dark that I can't even see in the corner there. And Dylan likes she's there. She's got absolutely duped. But yeah, I do really like playing Johnny. I just feel like, ah, oh, just if only... He feels like a character that should have the ability where you're able to sort of squeeze through stuff. Okay, these guys have actually just come down here. I'm going to straight away see if I can actually where search for them. Okay. You should find that first footstep. But again, if Leatherface hasn't actually destroyed some of them vaulting areas, then it just makes your job 20 times harder. You see, look, boom. He's literally there, but I can't do anything. So sometimes when you're in a game, if you're playing Leatherface, uh, depends who you've got on your team. Now I'm gonna actually going to go back upstairs. I can't really do too much here. That's kind of like Sissy's job, really, to be chasing people in the basement. Otherwise, I'm going to be looped for about 10 minutes. Like some more blood here, because he's not even gone up to level 1, embarrassingly. You want to make sure Grandpa's at least level 1, or he's never going to be screaming at all. Unfortunately, I'm not really running the, uh, the blood harvest kind of perks. Give him that. I ain't actually leveled him up. Kind of need one of the others to help there. Let's activate the ability. Checking bushes. Oh, at least I've actually leveled him now, which is alright. Valve exit. Ooh, here we go. What clues have you got for me, eh? Let's see. A lot of the time they just leave. Oh, okay. Here we go. Right. Car battery's still on. We're good. You can tell by the flickering. Where are you, mate? He was there. Oh, no. Yeah, boy. Oh! Oh! Dead. 
That's it. Once you get like two or three hits on them, anyone else can just finish them off. That's it. Close the uh, crew gap. Keep that shit down. As for the victims at the minute, I have noticed that there's not a lot of Leatherface players. Like, a lot of the time when you go into a lobby, everyone's trying to pick Johnny or Sissy or they're trying to pick Hitchhiker. And you never see people pick Leatherface a lot of the time. And I think he's... Is he the hardest to play? I think he's the hardest to play efficiently. Ah, and then again, that goes for everyone, really, doesn't it? We can get the full steps. See where it actually leads. Ooh, okay, it's actually out. Right. Oh, there we go. Perfect example. He's already low HP there. The bleed might get her. Yep, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. That's what I'm telling you about that bleed damage. And he gets worse for him. Ooh, one of them's actually got out of here. It's fine. I'll take it. Last victim. Oh, mate. How would he have got out? I bet it was the battery. It's got to be. But then Sis was running over here. So, let's double check this. I swear, if he was just sitting in the bush the entire time. That yeah, battery's not turned on. Ah, pain. That's what I'm saying. Though. Like, you can't be two places at once. Like, I would just be rotating both of these areas. But when I'm in mid-chase, you know, someone else kind of needs to be checking the other objectives. Well, not really sure where Leatherface is currently. Now, we've got one person left. As long as the family members kind of create like a triangle between the objectives, you're normally fine. Best thing to do normally, max out Grandpa. Get him to five. He's able to keep shouting. And, you know, depending who you're coming across, sometimes people get lost. Get your head straight. I feel like not a lot of people are familiar with this map. If they're not, take full advantage of leveling up Grandpa. It's going to take a while, though. All I've got to do is find one pair of footsteps. I'm going to check this building here. Because you've got to remember, you've got... Oh. And nah, this is basically perfect. I think she's actually chasing him right now. Sounds like it. Let's follow the footsteps anyway. Oh, mate, he's making a break, Eddie. Little do you know that battery's turned on, boy. Look at the blood trail as well. Whoa, okay. Sometimes you don't even need footsteps, really. I'm trying to cut him off here. Is it actually going to get him? I think she's killed him. Are they struggling? I can't even tell. Oh, mate, have you not killed him? Ah, you got him. That's it. Footsteps leading straight to his death. Just like that. I feel like this map is a lot more harsher on the victims if they don't know the map. I mean, it was for me. We didn't get out of the basement for about a year. That's Johnny, though, guys. Definitely really fun to play. Try to build out. He does extremely good damage. If there's a victim or family member you'd like to see me use, leave a comment. I'll put it on my list and we'll get through it this week. So, like, guys.